Hey guys, what's up? Now about a year ago, I came up with this really cool idea on something that you can build with Global Trust America Jura Trust Stock. And I wanted to build it, but I didn't have the parts to do it. So I put it on hold and it's been on hold long enough. I don't have the parts yet, but I've decided to go ahead and fabricate the parts that I need with some of the stuff I have laying around. First thing I need are some coupler clamps. Now this is one that I made here in my house, but you could buy a coupler clamp from the Global Trust America DuraTrust website. But again, I'm gonna make my own. This is what you need to make your own coupler clamp. So we're gonna use these little mini two inch clamps, a half coupler, a 10 millimeter cap screw that's 16 millimeters long. Of course, you'll need a nut for that screw, an Allen wrench, and a pair of vice grips. So our objective is pretty easy. We want to mount this half coupler to this mini clamp. So the first thing we got to do is take all of this stuff off of here that you would use a mini clamp to, I don't know, maybe put a light on it or something. The screws, there's washers, all that, and get rid of it. Okay, now let's look at our half coupler. Let's go ahead and pull the pin out. All right here's our half coupler. It's got a screw in it already, as you can see. Now notice right there, there's like a little nipple on there. See it? Right here? That thing is going to get in the way, see? If we try to put this flush on this clamp, it won't work because that little knob's in the way. At first I thought that knob was kind of, you know, died on there, but then I discovered that it's not, it's just pressed in with some Loctite. Here's where your vice grips come in handy. So you can do this on a vise, which is how I did it the first time, but this time I'm going to use another piece of truss just to show you how it's done. Stick your half coupler in there and pin it like that. So now you have something to hang on to your half coupler. Stick some vice grips right here on that little nipple. Give her a twist. Twist the nipples. That's kind of funny, isn't it? Twist, 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 twist. a little tighter on there. Ah, there we go. And we've pulled our pin. Now I want to show you why we use 10 millimeter or 7 16th nuts on here. They fit perfect right inside of this cradle. See that? It's like a perfect fit. Now we could take our 10 millimeter by 16 millimeter cap screw, which has the Allen head on it, and stick it inside our coupler. It's gonna come out the other side. See that? Then we stick it in the bottom hole of our clamp. As you can see, the screw isn't too long. It's a pretty good shot right there. Now the screw that came with the half coupler was way too long. That's why we had to go with the 16 millimeter option. This is absolutely no fun to do one handed, but we'll give it a try. We take our 10 millimeter nut, stick it right on top of our 10 millimeter screw. There, I kind of have my finger on it. Now I'll stick my Allen wrench inside of our coupler, start screwing down, and we've got it. Perfect, and that's how you do it. Now, for our project, I'm gonna make sure that the big end, the big pinhole, sits just like that. So the big end goes in here, all the way through, no problem. And then the little clamp itself is actually to the right. Now, there are a couple different ways that you can tighten this down, but we're just gonna eye it up. We're gonna get as close as we can, and then torque it down to the desired tightness. And that's how I'm building my DIY coupler clamps. Once again, you can buy these from Global Trust America. No problem, they're heavy duty. It's probably the way to go. But since I had the hardware laying around, I thought I'd build my own. And if this video was helpful to you, leave a comment in the comment section. Stay tuned, I'm gonna need eight of these things to get to my project. It's coming up hopefully within the next week or two. So until then, practice and enjoy.